Google Wi-Fi. This little device is a Wi-Fi router slash access point combo made by Google in 2016. So this thing were used as a replacement router and a Wi-Fi extender or access point. Normally, you will set this thing up with your mobile device such as a smartphone or tablet by downloading a Google Home app and scanning a QR code at here. This thing has a Qualcomm IPQ4090 SoC, 512MB of dedicated RAM, 4GB of MMS storage, it has a two Ethernet ports on the back side on here, and it has a USB-C port for a power and data. So you can use uh, your phone charger or even a power bank to turn this thing on and use it as a portable Wi-Fi router. This thing also has a single LED with uh, RGB lights and a dual band Wi-Fi, 2.4G and 5G. By default, this thing runs a modified stripped-down version of Chrome OS, but you can re easily replace it with another firmware like OpenWRT and add more features to this thing, like a, a VPN client and an audio player or even running a Docker container in this thing. All you need to do is prepare a flash drive, download two image, download one hub recovery utility, erase the flash drive, Write the stock image to USB drive. Wait until it finished writing. Wait until it finished verifying. Now unplug your flash drive. Hold the reset button and plug the USB C hub with power source and USB drive into Google Wi Fi while still holding the reset button for 16 seconds. If the light is turned off, then it's flashing the stock image. Now let's wait until it finished. Once you see this pulsing blue light, unplug any cable connected to it, then use a screwdriver to unscrew a single screw, then use a guitar pick to open the bottom case. Plug the USB-C hub back in after unplugging the USB drive while still holding the reset button. After the orange light blinking slowly, press this little button to activate developer mode. Now open on hub recovery utility again to flash open the image to USB drive. Now plug the USB drive back in and press this button again. After steady blue light, upload the OpenWRT image using SCP, then install OpenWRT to the internal storage. After that, reboot this router, remove its previous SSH key, unplug the USB drive, and done. Now OpenWRT is installed into Google Wi-Fi. It's quite hard, but at least no soldering job needed, except for GJ2CQ module. Now let's go into the main goal. We are going to try running Minecraft server in this thing. I will use the EMMC storage to store the whole Minecraft server, use the 512MB of RAM entirely without ZRAM compression or swap, use latest possible Minecraft server version, and use Docker for guaranteed compatibility. Originally, I planned to install Better Than Adventure Server, which is based on Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. However, when I tried it before making this video, it ended up filling the RAM and freezes with Google Wi-Fi. So let's try with Minecraft Java 1.10. I created a Docker container with Debian 10 image. This is where I will place the Minecraft server. After the container is created, let's go into Bash Shell. Before installing Java, we need to change some config in the source.list. First, pull the list out from container, then open it with theme, replace dev.debian.org with archive.debian.org, put it back in, and done. Now we can install packages in here. Let's install OpenJDK 11 into this container. Reading package list. Ah yes, look at that. 100% usage on a single core. Now press enter and it start downloading the packages. The CPU utilization is a bit higher since I have Cloudflare Warp running in this thing. It will not affect the Minecraft server performance though since the server is not exposed to the public internet. Now it's unpacking the packages. Since the ARM v7 CPU inside this IPQ4090 SoC only has 716 MHz clock speed and the EMMC storage is a bit slow, you have to be patient with this stuff.
A few moments later. Now Java is installed. The next thing is download a Minecraft server. Let's download Paper 1.10.2 by using widget. First thing first, install widget from apt. Then download the jar file using widget command. Once the server is downloaded, let's check the container IP address first. The IP address is 127.17.0.2. Now we will start this server. While waiting for the startup process, let's configure some firewall rules in here. Make sure to choose LAN as source zone and Docker as destination zone. Put 25565 on external port and internal port. Choose 172.17.0.2 for internal IP address. Name it Minecraft. Hit save button. Hit save and apply. You need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. Okay, so set EULA to true. Save it. Then start the server. Now the server is starting up. Let's wait until the server become online. Now we are in the Minecraft server host in Google Wi-Fi. Look at how slow it is. It, it utilized two cores in here. Like it maxed out two CPU cores in the IPQ4090 SOC and it generates chunks slowly. And what happens if I run while it's still generating a chunk? Okay, it's still uh, the chunks is not loading. Running faster. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. No. Oh. Oh. Look at how it slow it is. It did max out the RAM yet. Now let's stop the server and upgrade to Minecraft one point twelve point two. Go into here, here, and copy the link. Now wait until it downloaded. Start the server, and it crashed. So let's adjust the flag and restart the server again. Things doesn't look good right now. It's patching the vanilla jar and it's going to fill the entire RAM. Now the rotor is soft locked. I can't do any. Wait a second. So I try launching the server again, but this time I copy pasted the recommended flags from paper website. All right, moment of the truth. You need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. Now run the command again. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's preparing spawn area. Let's see if this router survives. 4% and it's still looking good. Okay, 29%, 30%, 31%. Alright, 44%, 45%, 46% and... It's preparing spawn area again. Okay, 26%, 28%. Okay, we start region for level 2. 90%, 22%, 25%, 28%. Let's see if I can log in. Loading train. It works. Now let's see what can I do in here. We have Elytra and let's use it. Okay. Right, we are using a button. Oh my god, oh. So it's currently using 378 megabyte of RAM. Well, technically, you can run Minecraft server in a Wi Fi router if it has a, at least 512 megabyte of RAM. Although, if you want to run a Minecraft server 1.21, you will need at least a 1 gigabyte of memory. Is it worth it to host a Minecraft server this way? Absolutely not. You can buy an old PC for cheap and it will run Minecraft server more better than a Verge Wi-Fi router. What do you think about this? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.